All right, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Nice, that looks sick. Hey guys, my name's Paul. It's my first video of 2022, so happy 2022. Another year, I'm hoping to grow the channel a lot more in 2022, which I've said a lot now. 2022, 2022. Still sounds a bit futuristic. Anyway, thanks for being here. Let's get going. Hey guys, it's good to be back. I thought I'd kick the year off with a life update video just to get you all up to speed on what's going on with me and Arlene at the moment. Last year you would have heard if you've been keeping up with the channel is that we got COVID around Christmas. So we had seven to 10 days of isolation and we put out a few videos on that. We didn't have it as bad as some people but it definitely wasn't a fun experience. And so we've been out of isolation for about a month now and things are relatively back to normal. Our smell and taste is back which is great because it was a bit touch and go there for a second. And Arlene's actually just started full-time work this week, which is super exciting. It's really awesome as a husband to see all her hard work at university pay off. I'm a little bit more lonely now because I'm still working part-time. So Arlene's off earning the big bucks and I'm at home, but it means I've got more time and effort to put into things like YouTube. And yeah, I've been a bit bored today, but I've got to get used to the new norm. But above all, super excited for Arlene. She's going to kill it. Proud husband moment. My diabetes has been going okay. It was surprisingly really good when we had COVID. We were always worried that me having diabetes and that meaning that I'm immunocompromised would mean that if I did get it, it might be a lot worse than a regular person, but I was actually pretty good. So we're really thankful for that. My insulin hasn't been working super well the last few weeks, which makes life a little overwhelming and discouraging, but it's been good the last few days, so we're really thankful for that and hoping that that can continue. I'm hoping to get into some more regular exercise routines, which will also help stabilize and regulate my blood sugars. That and, you know, I'm turning 30 this year and I've got a bit of a gut and I want to get rid of it. So blast me in the comments if I say in future videos I haven't been doing that because I need to. I'm still loving guitar. You can see a few of them in the back here. I did a guitar collection video last year, which I really enjoyed making because it wasn't just me filming, but it also meant I got to film me playing guitar and I recorded some stuff and overdubbed it. Really fun. Hoping to do more of that this year. In classic Paul fashion, I ended that video saying I'm pretty content with my collection and we're what? nearing the end of January and I've already got my sights set on two new guitars. I sold my bass guitar that I'd had for ages to cover one of them. I haven't bit the bullet and paid for it yet, mainly because I don't have permission, but it'll probably happen. I don't know. But yeah, music's still a massive part of my life. Don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. I still play guitar once or twice a day. I've hit a bit of a plateau, so I'm keen to invest in some online lessons or some, you know, real lessons. That would be great. In the meantime, we'll see if I can keep my rampant need for more guitars under control. Of course, you guys will be the first to know if I do make a new purchase. I'm entering 22. I'm entering 22. I'm entering 20. I'm entering 2022 with a lot of hope and expectation, but also uncertainty with what work's gonna look like for me this year. It could look like what it looked like last year, but I'm really hoping that my part-time work can expand into full-time work. Again, COVID's kind of had a big impact on that because that's always been the plan there. So it's meant a lot of trusting God and his plan that he has for my life, which has been really hard. I, I hit a bit of a wall around October, November, and I got really sad and depressed. Just not being sure of what's going on with my career and what it's meant to look like. I really enjoy juggling my part-time jobs and doing YouTube stuff. I think compared to the nine to five of my three full-time jobs previously, it's allowed me to have a bit better of a work-life balance. I've been able to have the work stuff, but then I've also been able to invest in my creative side, which kind of got stifled a bit and does in general get stifled when you know you get married or you're working full time and there's just not a lot of time for you. So I really enjoyed that, but I've hit 2022 really wanting more and wanting to provide more, mainly financially for Arlene and myself. So I'm hoping things will expand and change in that area, but if they don't, Thankfully, we've gotten by it fairly comfortably and Arlene started work, so God's got us there. We're very thankful. And yeah, I reckon I've just got to stop overthinking it sometimes and just be a little more content. So you guys can keep me accountable for that as well. Last big life update for this year is that I'm really keen to grow this YouTube channel. I'm really thankful for all of you who have joined me on the journey so far. I just started it as kind of like a creative outlet and even though 100 subscribers isn't a lot, once I cracked 100 here on YouTube, I was pretty stoked because I haven't really pushed for that. I haven't really been out there saying, like and subscribe, it's in the 
video descriptions, but I haven't really been advocating it on my socials or anything like that. So thank you for anyone who has subscribed. It actually means a lot to me. And my big lofty goal for this year, which Arlene says is maybe a bit too big, but I need a goal, otherwise I don't have any clear direction and it makes me more focused. So I'm really keen to grow the channel to have a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. Sounds massive, it's a little daunting saying it out loud, but that, that's what I'm aiming for. I wanna put out content that is good quality, both visually and just, you know, the script and what I'm saying. I want people to be able to come here and feel like they can relate to me and get something out of these videos. So that's my aim, but I'm committed to put in the effort. I wanna try and get a video out once a fortnight. It used to be once a week, but it means I can also put more effort and make them of a higher quality, which if anyone knows me, I'm a crazy perfectionist. So that ticks my boxes in that regard, but yeah. A thousand subscribers, that's what I'm gunning for. And in line with that, when we moved apartments, I invested a bit of money into getting some gear and kind of sprucing up the study where I'm filming right now. So this is the first time I'm officially filming in here. And as you saw at the beginning with the LED lights, it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm liking this shot. It's big enough that I can, you know, shoot from a few different angles, but I think this might be kind of the main one. I've always liked having a bit of, you know, greenery in the background and you can see my guitars. I'm using my new softbox light for the first time, which I'm hoping looks good. We'll find out when I edit this thing. So that's all really exciting. And I'm really glad that I'm finally using that gear. I'm excited to keep creating content for you guys. As you guys can tell, I haven't landed on a specific niche yet for the channel. It's kind of a bit of everything from my life. So if there are any videos that I do in particular that you're like, Paul, that was great. You seem to really be passionate about that or I really enjoyed that content, whether it's like guitar stuff or cooking stuff or, you know, just vlogs or life updates like this one, let me know. Like message me privately on Instagram or leave a comment below on YouTube. All communication helps. Heck, tell me if you think something's awful and I should never do it again. It all helps. I wanna put in the right amount of effort for where I'm at at the moment, but I also wanna put out good content that people actually wanna watch. So with your help, I reckon I can do that. And with your help, I know I can get to a thousand subscribers. So that's my life update. I'm curious to see what happens in 2022. I'm hoping for good things. I'm hoping for great things. I, it's gonna be great. I know it's gonna be great. And I hope your 2022 is awesome as well. If you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, like the video. If you already subscribed, share the video with a friend. Word of mouth, still a thing, even in this technological age. Technological age. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you next time.